So when the pros hit an on-the-rise ground stroke, there's a subtle difference they make with the height of their backswing. Let me show you. Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm gonna help you hit better on-the-rise ground strokes by showing you something the pros do and a little change they make with the height of their turn when trying to execute an on-the-rise compared to a normal shot. Now, I've got the Topspin Pro here. I absolutely love this thing. It's why I use it in so many of my videos. If you haven't gotten one of these, it would mean the absolute world to me if you went into the description below and used my affiliate link to get one. And by the way, for those who do get a Topspin Pro using my affiliate link, you can send me an email of any of your strokes and I will feature you in an upcoming YouTube video showing you exactly how to improve your technique. All you gotta just do is make sure you use my link in the description below to grab one of these bad boys. All right, what do the pros do with their backswing on the rise compared to a normal shot where the ball lands a little shorter in front, you know, near the service line and then that's, they hit the ball at the peak or on the fall. The difference is in the height of their turn. If you look at the pros and the ball lands a little shorter near the service line, they'll take the racket up here. It's a higher turn where the tip of the racket is higher than their head. I want you to go out and film yourself hitting balls and see when you turn for a forehand if the tip of the racket is higher than head level. But you watch that same pro and now the ball comes very deep, right? The ball lands near the baseline and rises maybe even to the same height that they hit the previous ball where the ball landed shorter, but the turn is lower. The turn with the tip of the racket is actually below head level. So if I were to turn right now and just show you this, I could ask you, is this on the rise or is it not on the rise? And you would say it's not because the racket is higher than head level. Now you don't have to stick the entire racket up above your head. You can just think of it as the tip of the racket higher than head level. So then I can practice forehands with the technique that is not on the rise. Now if the ball lands deeper, then you wanna be able to take a shorter swing because one of the biggest reasons that really I would say the number one reason why players struggle taking the ball on the rise is because it's hard to time. Because you actually have to start your swing before the ball bounces. You have to begin the drop before the ball ever hits the ground. So you're almost swinging blind because the ball hasn't even bounced yet. So one of the things that can help you navigate this timing and, and figure out the correct timing of when to swing is actually to give your racket less to do. Rather than a gigantic swing and trying to figure out the timing with a big swing, take a shorter swing. So when I turn here and the racket tip is lower than head level, that's on the rise. Let me just hit a couple balls here on the Top Spin Pro and just say to yourself, on the rise or not on the rise, right? And you'll know it from the height of my turn. So tell me what this one is. How about this? Right? So the first two were up here, that's not on the rise. The next two were down here, that is on the rise. Let me show you here right now a side-by-side -side comparison of Grigor Dimitrov hitting an on the rise forehand and a forehand that's not on the rise. He's actually hitting the ball as it starts to descend. And look at the difference in the height of his backswing. Now this video is courtesy of Tennis Builder on Instagram. Thank you so much for letting me use this video. So here you can see the ball is landing near the service line. And just look how he's not taking this ball on the rise. The ball's basically peaking, slightly falling by the time he's hitting the ball. Let's see. Yeah, the ball's starting to fall by the time he makes contact. And you can see when he turns that the racket is higher than his head. So very easy to see. Uh, let me redraw that so it's actually pretty accurate. There you go. So you can see the racket is higher than his head. Now this ball, just look where this ball's landing. This ball is much closer to the baseline. And, you know, I had mentioned that they begin their swing before the ball bounces. What I mean by that is the drop. The drop of the racket begins before the ball ever bounces. So he's beginning the swing, which we will call the drop, before the ball ever bounces. And then just after it bounces, then he hits. That's why he's hitting on the rise. But notice his turn. Notice this time the turn. Let me kind of go apples to apples here, try to create the same size <laughs> Grigor on the screen, if I draw that same line across the top of his racket right there, there we go, you can see that it's actually slightly lower than head level on the, from this camera view. Now this is a slightly aerial view, so maybe really, to be honest, the tip of the racket is around head level, but it's without a doubt lower. So when the pros, when the ball lands shorter, they tend to turn higher. And when the ball lands deeper, they tend to turn lower. Is this always the case? Absolutely not, but it's a great way to think of it so it's easier to time the on the rise shot. So 
So now I'm gonna take the ball on the fall or near the peak, right? It's not on the rise. And notice my turn. Notice how I'm turning with the tip of the racket higher than head level. You don't take every ball on the rise in tennis. You can really only take the ball on the rise if it's high and slow and you can get up near the bounce or if your opponent hits it deep. But if your opponent hits it near the service line, you're not gonna take the ball on the rise. So the racket tip is higher than head level. So here you'll notice my turn is without a doubt lower. I'm trying to keep the racket in this area rather than up here because it makes it easier to time the shot. You see a lot of players, they turn just as high as they normally do and they're often late. On the rise balls are often faster balls. The longer the ball stays in the air, the longer it stays at its faster speed because when a ball hits the ground, it slows down. T tennis balls don't speed up typically <laughs> when the ball hits the ground. So I'm without a doubt trying to turn lower. So to better time the on the rise ground stroke, turn lower than you typically do. And there's no doubt, you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.